Good morning and welcome back to another lesson. Today we're going to be looking at two-point perspective drawing uh, of an interior. Uh, this is going to be pretty much the end product of our lesson today and I want you to be very much aware of uh, the three-dimensional quality of this entire space and um, just you know the the fact that there's just a few simple lines. Um, there are vertical lines and then there are lines that go to the vanishing points. And the vanishing points are set up the same way that um, you know we've done the boxes um, in our previous lesson with the vanishing point one and vanishing point two outside our drawing space. The drawing space that I have set up over here is uh, basically uh, just a rectangular shape and if you would take a moment and um, set up your, your worksheet the same way that I have here, uh, I think that would be very, very helpful. So I'm, gonna, um, I'm going to uh, decrease the opacity of this, uh, of this um, layer uh, on my iPad um, because I, I kind of want you to have the anticipation factor but I want you to also see how it's done so uh, I know that some of you may be um, tempted to just um, copy you know do a screenshot of my my artwork and then trace it um, I, I think you're selling yourself short in that case. What I want you to do is to actually have a ruler in your hand and a pencil. And of course, you must have the eraser. So uh, we're going to start out with um, the farthest line away from us, and that is this corner over here. And I'm going to switch colors because I think that will be better in our case. So um, you're going to draw a vertical line. Okay. Um, notice that my horizon line, which is the red line in this case, is about one third of the way down from the top of my drawing space. And this particular line is um, you know slightly below it it ends slightly below the 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 horizon line now notice that this is an interior so unlike the boxes you're going to be doing uh, lines that go from the vanishing point to the top of the line but then I don't want you to stop there I want you to actually continue off towards the end of your paper so make sure that you are right there on the top of the line and right here on the vanishing point okay now the only part that you're going to keep is this little line right here <laughs> I told you there's a lot of erasing and then we're going to repeat the same thing on this other side and then once again you want to make sure that you are right on the line and in my case, I have to be very careful because sometimes what I think it's on the line, it's not really on the line. And what I think it's on the vanishing point is not really. So I have to check in all the time. So once again, I'm going to erase. Okay. 
and then we do the same thing with the bottom. You want to make sure that you are right there on the line and right there on the line. And now, again, I have to erase. Yes, it's a lot of erasing. So draw lightly. One more time. I'm going to make sure that I'm on the line. Let's double check over here. Oops. I moved it. Okay, so I have to put it over here. On the vanishing point. Is it right at the bottom of the line? Yes, so I'm good on that other side. So, um, because I'm going to be doing another room on the other side, I'm actually going to keep this line for now. So I'm not going to erase because I, um, I want, I want you to see how that line is actually continuing on the other side into the other room. So let's add now another layer because I want to do this entrance right here into the other room. So to do that you start out with a vertical line. Okay so th this is th this is why I absolutely love doing um, two-point perspective because well, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm ahead of myself here. Um, you want to make the hole in the wall, right? So you want to take a line from vanishing point two and make sure that you have it right there onto the top of the line. Is this on the vanishing point? It is and we're good okay and then we're going to draw another vertical line <clears throat> right over here and then once again let's erase okay I'm going to add another layer and now I'm going to make the thickness of my wall. Okay, so I start out with two lines from each one of those corners. And then the vertical line that you're going to draw, um, many times I get this question, well, how do you know where to draw that line? Well. You could draw it where I have it over here. You could draw it over here. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to draw it over here this time. And um, and that can be the thickness of your wall. Okay. And then the next thing you want to do is start on vanishing point two. Line up your... your ruler with the top of that line because you want this this corner to be lined up with the vanishing points but you want to continue the line out towards the other side okay so that that is the way you draw it so is this on vanishing point two it is okay 
Okay, so now all I have to do is erase this. Hmm. Erase that. Let me make my eraser smaller so that I can erase this tiny inty winty bit of my line. And there you go, that's the that's the thickness of the wall. Okay, so in my original drawing uh, where you see the blue line, you can see that it's actually thicker. So it doesn't matter. You could have, you know, this thicker or thinner. It doesn't matter. You, you, you're the architect, so you decide where you want it. So remember what I was saying about me keeping this uh, line right here. Let me go to the layer where I actually have it. So, um, <clears throat> so now I can actually erase this because I don't need this part anymore. But what you're going to see is that in the other room, okay, this line that I just erased or that is part of this line at the bottom of my um, my wall is actually continuing on on the other side so uh, the, the next thing that you would have to do is just pick a random place where you want your room to end so you can put it right here where I originally intended it for to end or you can put it over here it doesn't matter where you put it as long as you have a spot in the other side of this room to end it so I'm gonna end it there because I changed my mind about where I want to end it so the next thing that you want to do is you want to draw a line from vanishing point one this way so that um, this top of the line is lined up with vanishing point one okay and now I can actually erase this line right here and this line right here because I don't need those anymore okay and then um, what you want to do is you want to let me add one more layer uh, you want to add two more lines starting on vanishing point two lined up with the same vertical line that ends your room. Make sure that you are on the vanishing point. and you are on the line okay uh, then you can erase this over here and you can erase <laughs> yeah this whole entire thing over here that we you just drew or maybe not maybe you got smart and now you don't you don't have to erase all this because you know exactly how to line up your ruler and how to draw your lines and the next uh, line that you draw is again at the bottom lining up with the vanishing point two is it on the vanishing point now it is is it on the bottom of the line yes it is so that's that's basically how you do the other side 
uh, the, the, the room on the other side of this wall. And then we erase. Okay, so there you go. That's the other room. <clears throat> now, now I'm going to merge my layers because um, I think I have plenty. What I do need to do is erase this line. Just so that we have pre-entry into the other room. So let me let me show you how this looks without the horizon line there. You see? Let me turn off this blue layer. Okay, so it's a three-dimensional room with an adjacent room. Looking good? Okie dokie. Let me turn on my thing over here so the next thing that I'm going to do is um, I'm gonna make a window on this uh, wall over here and for this you are going to use only vanishing point one because that's all you need so you start out with a vertical line you line up the top and the bottom of this vertical line with vanishing point one. Okay, let's make sure that this is on the vanishing point. Yes. Okay. So, next line you draw is another vertical line. And you want to make sure that you are perfectly vertical. And then you erase. You erase everything but the window. I highly recommend that you pause my video as you are erasing because I know in your case it may take a little bit longer. So, as you remember in our other One Point Perspective, what I taught you is how to find the middle of your window. Well, the same thing is here. Uh, oh, let me, sorry, let me make another layer and change my color so you can see what my guidelines are. So, basically, these lines will determine the middle of my window and going back over here you basically draw a vertical line and you want to make sure it's vertical I'm going to edit it because what I want to do is I want to extend it on the other side Okay, does this look vertical to you? Yep. Okay. And then the next line that I want you to draw is one that goes from the vanishing point through that center line all the way on this other side. Okay. And you want to double make sure that everything is is centered and it's pretty much centered and then you can just erase that line and I will erase this line as well and there's your window okay next so as I 
told you in one point perspective,、uh, doing a grid or learning how to make a grid using perspective is very very important. Two point perspective is done pretty much the same way,、um, except in this case there are a few steps extra that you have to to take,、um, and you start out with a dot where you want you know the nearest corner of this to be. And then you draw lines to the vanishing point two, and vanishing point one. Okay. Okay, that's close enough. And then、um, you might wonder, well, where do you draw your next line? Doesn't matter where you draw it, as long as you draw a line. Draw a second line to vanishing point two, and another line to vanishing point one. Okay, so this is going to be the basis of our grid. This particular square is going to be the basis of our whole entire grid. Okay. Going to go on another layer because now the hard part begins.、Um, what you have to do is you have to draw a diagonal, and my diagonal just so happens that it is right there on that on that line. It just so happens. You can see that this. Corner and this corner are pretty much on the same exact vertical line, so that's a coincidence. It does not necessarily happen all the time. It just so happened. I don't know how it happened, but it did. So this line right here, if you draw it all the way out like that, okay. Let's make sure that it's from the corner to the corner. Okay, that's going to give you the diagonal that is going to run through all of the boxes that we're going to be drawing on the ground. Okay, and it will make sense after we do the next few lines. You'll you'll understand what I'm talking about. Then the next line that you're gonna draw, it's another diagonal. And thankfully, this is not <laughs> straight across, because I don't want you to think that it's going to be straight across all the time. It's corner to corner, just like that. Okay, the next line that you're going to draw is a line that goes from. This center point to vanishing point two, and it goes to vanishing point two, and it goes from the center of my square over there. I know this is multiple steps. So I'm gonna change my color to another color because I want you guys to see what's happening. So now, the the way you find out where to draw the line that goes on the the side over here towards the other vanishing point, what you have to do is you have to take a diagonal line that starts in this corner right here, and it goes through that intersection point. And then it continues on to the other side on that line right there. Okay, so it starts right here. It goes through this intersection point, and this intersection point right here is where you are going to draw your next line. And this line is going to be lined up. 
with the vanishing point one. So double check, make sure that you are all lined up because the slightest, slighter devi deviation from the points is going to give you something that doesn't look good. So now you have two squares. Now remember what I said about this, this line right here, the green line that's going straight up and down? Well, here's what you do next. You take a line from vanishing point two, and you go to this intersection point right here, okay? Where the green line and the line that you drew to vanishing point two meet. And you draw it all the way on this other side where it ends on that, on this line right here. Make sure that your ruler is all perfectly aligned with the vanishing point too. And with this, with this intersection point right here so that you can get your next line. So now you have uh, four squares to your grid. Isn't that beautiful? I just love this. I just love how this whole entire thing works out. Okay, so the next line starts at this corner right here, goes through here, and it ends somewhere over here. Okay? So very lightly you want to draw this as light as possible you don't want to do this dark because like i said lots of erasing and you do not have the benefit of layers like i do where you just erase it with one click so as we did before vanishing point one gets lined up with that intersection point making sure that that's where it is. Make sure your pencil is super sharp because uh, even the even the fact that your pencil is blunt is going to mess up your drawing. Okay, so uh, can you guess what you have to do next? And if you guessed that you start over here and you draw a line towards the vanishing point back and forth then you write so does it go to the vanishing point over here yes and now I have to take this line making sure that I stay on that intersection point and going over here on this other side. Okay, let's do one more and then um, we're going to be done. Yay! So, let's do this. So we start on this corner, we go through that intersection point, and we go on this other side. Okay? Just like that. And then you take a line from vanishing point one to this intersection point right over here making sure that that's where we are let's make sure that we are on vanishing point one and yes we are and that's where it is and then last but not least let's do another line from vanishing point two to that intersection point I always have to zoom in and make sure that that's where I'm at because um, 
If I don't, I can be off by a lot. Okay, and then this one is to be on Sometimes this thing is lagging. It's not as fast as I want it to be. Okay, so that's it. That's your grid. And if I get rid of my... Did I just do it on that layer? I did. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Oh, Mrs. C, Mrs. C. You'll see what I did. You'll see. Okay. What I did is this. This is what I did. I, I did it on the wrong layer. I bet somebody was screaming at me. But you guys get the idea. Here's how it looks when, when you erase all of the... Oops. When you erase the... lines okay so on your worksheets I better see a 4x4 four four grid not a 3x3 three three. okay it's gotta be a 4x4 four four. that was a mistake I made and I couldn't hear you guys. You, I know you guys were yelling at me. Missy, you're on the wrong layer. <laughs> I couldn't hear you. <sighs> so there you go. There's your... Two-point perspective interior. I could... Um, I could actually... Turn this on. And then turn this off. And then turn this on. <laughs> uh, in this on this um in this example I actually have a um the the grid um as a four by five. So if you want to do a four by five, that's fine with me. But anyway, that's that's how you do a two-point perspective interior. Now, is this the the whole entire thing? Is this everything there is to perspective drawing? Nope. There is so much more to learn, and um, I wish we had the time to to do this for the rest of the year, <laughs> but we don't. So make sure you get this thing done, and then. I will come back and I will give you some instructions on what I would like you to do for your project because you are going to be doing a project for me. All right, um, let's, let me turn this back on so you guys can kind of see what's happening in this picture as well. It's pretty much almost the same, almost. Well, thank you for watching and uh, I will see you next time.